Hello everyone, welcome to Chef D Home Cooking. Uh, we're going to be doing a dry rub today for my uh, oven baby back rib and my oven chicken. But before we get started, let's go along and hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. And please don't forget to hit the notification let you know when I'm doing my video because I'll be doing a couple more today, maybe three more today. So it's Super Bowl Sunday. And please share my video. Now we're gonna get started with this um, dry rub. We're gonna first we're gonna dump some salt and pepper in here. We got some garlic powder, onion powder. But this garlic powder, the first one was onion powder. We got some chicken seasoning. We got some DJ Cajun seasoning. We have cayenne and paprika. Get it all out of there. I also have some brown sugar. You can use my brown sugar if you want. Yeah. Ooh, that's wrong. Okay, I'm not done yet. I have something else I'm gonna add to it. A couple, three more. I have some rotisserie seasoning with my throat in there. Not much. Just some good stuff. Like I said, I get it from the Red Stick Spice Store. Just Google that and you'll find it in the I also gonna put some some jerk seasoning in it. It's good for chicken, it's good for pork. That's it again, red stick. I'm gonna throw some of that up in there. I'm gonna set my oven on probably 375 degrees and we're gonna do this slow. Maybe 400 at times. And we're gonna put a little coriander in it. This here right here. Coriander. That's a good lemon spice blend right here. Okay. So we're gonna mix this up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap my, I'm gonna normally, but I'm gonna take my ribs, my baby bath, I'm gonna wrap them up in foil paper. So we may put the oven on 400. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna turn it on in a minute. We're gonna mix this all around, get it all together. Let all those cousins meet each other. I had a request. This request comes way from Indiana. Indiana. They wanna know how to do some ribs. And chicken in the oven. So we're gonna do it. So I'm thinking there's gonna be barbecue ribs in the oven. I may put barbecue sauce, I may put it after. Same thing with your, with the chicken. Okay, I think we got this in enough. I'm gonna take this out. Take this side, take this up. We're gonna take some uh, a foil paper, some heavy duty foil paper. And what I'm gonna do, Take that out. So we'll put the side and side up. I don't want, it's just, that's just me, folks. That's just me. I'm gonna take some more. That's a pan, brother. Probably just make sure it don't stick. That's all, I don't think it will. We're gonna take one of these, uh, I got some beautiful baby rat, baby back ribs. I got stuff going everywhere. Well, they're all gonna cook together anyway. I got here. It's all good. But anyway, we got some really up here. I didn't take the membrane off. I told y'all how to remove that one there, but it holds it a lot of flavor. Just that one here. I already cut them, so let's see how we're gonna set. We just have one here. And we're gonna put one here. We're gonna season them up. Let me get this out of the way. Well, I'm gonna set the oven to 400. We're gonna do 400 today. Remove my pretty beautiful cast iron. 
sit down all the way. We're gonna set the oven to 400 degrees for an hour and a half. Alexa set the timer for one hour and a half. Yeah, she's on this one. So. We're gonna set the stove for the oven for 400 degrees. Okay. Now, one more thing we wanna do. We're gonna rub some gel and mustard on it. This one side, not worry about the back side. It's gonna have to help the season to stick. Put that right here. We're rubbing in. Double flavor, folks. Rub it all over. Just somebody yell with muscle. It makes everything taste good. I said, don't worry about the back side. This way, the meat at. Okay, we're finna rub that in all over. Get it all in there. And we're gonna rub this spice in there. Let me wash my hands. What we're doing here, folks, again, we're gonna do some, some ribs in the oven. Gonna put the barbecue sauce on the side, and we're gonna do some chicken in the oven. We're probably gonna put barbecue sauce on the chicken. Maybe put it on the uh, rib sauce though. I haven't made that decision yet. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of this spicy and put it all over it. Gonna rub it in. This this spice out rub I made is done on brisket. Pretty much everything. We're gonna rub it in. I said we're gonna go up and put some on the back side, but we're not gonna put no mustard on it. Always keep one hand dry. Put it all on the back. Okay. Rub it in. I think that will be fine. We're gonna wrap them up in this foil paper, like so. Back them up, put a little more. Here's gonna be some awesome ribs. We're gonna keep them in the foil paper for about one hour, and then I'm gonna take it off. And I'm gonna go maybe another 20 minutes uncovered, and I definitely will be showing y'all the results. I wash my hands. Okay. Let me grab the mustard on the floor, but it'll be okay. We're gonna try to uh I wanna wrap all these together, but we're gonna we're gonna double wrap it, but we're gonna fold over like so. Pull this up. We're gonna fold this one up. Forget one thing folks. When you get it like that, we're gonna put some mix of smoke and whiskey seal salt in it. Give another sheet of foil paper. Get it set it like so. Set these ribs up like this. We're going on to some liquid smoke. Whiskey seal salt in there. Gonna be awesome. You notice I didn't put no oil. You don't need no oil. Okay. We're gonna take this one. We're gonna wrap it like this. Real tight. I'm gonna put y'all on camera, I'm sorry. Right here. Hold it over. Hold that one over. It'll come across like this. I mean, you pretty much wrap it like you want. But I'm telling you now, you might want to put it in a little more foil pan, just in case. I got a sever of them here, I'll it up in here. Not that one won't work. We're going to 
gonna set it up in the pan right here. That bread is going to oven for an hour and about 30 minutes. We're going to make these ribs covered up in the fall for about an hour. Take it off. And we'll let them get a little crust on them. Put some barbecue sauce on them. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Y'all will know when we come back and show you the final result. We're going to set this on the side so the oven gets preheated. Now, we're going to get here. I have some. Like I said, it's not my favorite chicken. But I got some drums. The kids love them. And we'll wipe this down. Get a pan over here. Whoa, no. Make sure we're good. Press it for much of left out of here. Okay. These beautiful bell peppers. Y'all gonna be seeing them probably this day also. So okay, we got some chicken here. We're gonna line up. Just the way I line mine. One that way. One that other way. One that other way. I probably got head legs, folks. But I got these. I couldn't pass up the deal. Like these, I discard these. These are really too bad. Oh yeah, I throw them out. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Try to fill them all, man. Move this out the way. Wash my hands. Going across the contamination. And we're going to put some of that same dry rub on it. We're going to rub the chicken out with mustard also. Not the flavor, folks. Not much. Okay. Put the dry rub here. We'll rub all this in. Now the chicken, we're gonna cover it up also for about, about maybe four to five minutes. Go take. And we're gonna uncover it. Go get a good rolling crisp on it. We're gonna put some barbecue sauce on it. And I'll show y'all what that looks like when I come back. In about one hour, we'll have it in the oven. And I'll show y'all what's in it, And we're gonna go down and put some rub on this chicken. I love making uh, rub for anything. It's just, it's just, it's just for different meat, you use different spices. But this is good spice of chicken and pork. And with that good rib, um, like the cow, the beef, it's a whole different one. But that's gonna put too much on this. This one for all uh, this seasoning on both sides. Make sure the skin down. Oh, I have all of it now. Just wait on that oven. I should have been far different too, but I hold on to it. That's a big one. Spin down. That go to the oven, folks. Tell me to hurry up. Okay. Okay, we're going to put some spices on this side. Like I said, this is all Super Bowl Sunday here. Okay, that should be enough for that. Get that out of the way. Wash my hands. Okay. I got one, a couple more spices I want to put on the chicken. I just realized. I want to put some of that jerk seasoning on it. And so we're just a little burn. It's up in there, but I like to sprinkle them on the chicken. Red snip. Spices. This is a uh, rotisserie right here, season. Real good season. I mean, if you buy a half a bag for 
uh, well, a little bit over three dollars an ounce. Not bad. And we're gonna put the dirt seasoning on the chicken. And we're gonna cover this up. Put a little liquid smoke on it. And like I said, so this gonna be used all day. We're gonna be using this spice. Let's put a little uh, chicken spice on it. Liquid smoke. Which is here. Like I said, this roasting this chicken for more. I know these not onion or bear or pepper, whoever think they got to go on that, that is what I'm doing. Once it's good, I cook for my family. You can cook, put whatever you want in yours. I'm fine with that. But I know this is going to be good. Okay, we're going to just make sure we got some margin here. I'll put a few pieces of margin in there. I'm going to cut the pound. Not much. That's something to put in there. We're good. Okay. Okay, we're going to try to finish this up in 20 minutes. Okay, we're going to cover this up. What I'm going to do, I got, well, I have another pan, I'm going to just double pan it and get some pan. Don't know how good they are in this pan, I'm trying out some catering. we get some fall paper. And we're going to cover this up. Barbecue chicken and barbecue baby back ribs, folks. It's one of my first Super Bowl dishes. We're gonna put this in the oven for, for the same time the rib. We're gonna do an hour on the chicken. We're gonna uncover it. It should be done by the same time. And like I said, 400 degrees, one hour and 30 minutes. And we'll be right back and show you the results. Be safe. Thank you for watching Chef B Home Cooking. Okay, welcome back to Chef B Home Cooking. Well, we done up the ribs. It's been about an hour, so they came out perfect. So we're gonna cover them up. We're gonna plate them up, and we'll show y'all what I'm gonna do. If we gonna, if we gonna, and I'm making some barbecue sauce. Yes, I do make my own barbecue sauce. One bottle of ketchup. We gonna, I tell you that in the first. We gonna run and cut them up. They're gonna be falling off the bone. First of all, let me get some gloves on. Got to have some gloves on. Once again, these baby back ribs, the finished product. And we also have the chicken in the oven. It's done, and we're going to plate it up also. There we go. Oh, that ain't good. Once again, the barbecue sauce with uh, about four cups of ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, brown sugar, a little yellow mustard, and this spicy. So we're going to run on slow cutting these up. I'm going to try to make a towel, but they're so tender they're falling off the bone. So, see if we can get them like so. Okay, we'll stack this one like that. We're gonna get another one. But that's what they came out like for. That is a that is a rub right there. So we're gonna cut them up. Really tender. Go put these like so. Go cut them up. Falling off the bone. Check that out. Awesome. Put them back so. And one more. So cut it like so. Find that bone. Something like that. Find that bone. Something like that. We're going to put this one here. 
I say, it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna take some, uh, wash my hands. Okay, dry my hands. We're gonna take some barbecue sauce, make them real good. We're gonna take some barbecue sauce, we're gonna grill some barbecue sauce on these baby back ribs. Came out perfect. Took about maybe an hour and we need quite an hour and 30 minutes. We just want to drizzle something. We're not going to put it all over. Mm hmm That's the rib. We're going to take some off. Green onion. I'm going to put a little bit on top, like so. That'll be the baby back rib. Super Bowl party. Awesome dish. Once again, look at that, folks. That's a close view. Awesome. Baby back grill. We're going to set this on the side. We're going to get the chicken out. Okay, we're going to get a dish of the chicken. Move this out of the way. I have to take my mess up. That's done. We're going to move this up into this area. We're going to bring out the chicken. Let's show y'all how that looks. We got some drumsticks here. Let's set it on here. See that? We got that, okay. We're going to take my tongs, my tongs, I feel. Get my tongs, we're gonna snap these legs up in here. They falling off the bone. Back them like so. Already got the sauce on it, we might dribble some more. From here. These are drums, like so. From here. Here. Both. These are some tender chicken legs. I mean, they're falling out. Gotta take all this meat and put it in here also. Okay, we're gonna get this right here out the way. Or oh, you're not gonna the plate off. Once again, don't forget to hit that like button, comment. We're gonna take some more barbecue sauce. Just a little bit. A little dribble. Let's hope. Chef D barbecue sauce made by Chef D. Take some green onion on top. Beautiful thing. Once again, we have some barbecue chicken legs. Mm hmm. That's a beautiful thing. Awesome. There we go. And thank y'all for watching this video. Probably got two more coming up, so y'all stay tuned for my next videos. Thank y'all.